بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مقصد انیمیشن اسکول اینڈ ان ٹو ڈیز ٹوٹوریل آئی ول ٹیچ یو ہاؤ ٹو ریک آ کیریکٹر دا ٹارگیٹ ٹو ڈو دس ریک از باڈی میکینکس سو دیٹس وائی وی ڈو ناٹ ہیو اینی فیشل ریک سو لیٹ گیٹ اسٹارٹ ہیئر وی ہیو آور میش یو کین سی ایوری تھنگ از نیم پراپرلی فیس نیک پرلی اینڈ وی پٹ آل دیز تھنگس ان ون لیئر وچ از وی کال ٹیپو سو ٹیپو از دا نیم آف دس کیریکٹر now we create another layer and we call it bones so our all our bones will be coming will come here and new layer and we call it controllers and new layer and we call it other whatever other things which we don't know what will come later we'll just put them there in this layer okay so now here below this character we do one more thing we just group all of them and call it mesh and then we create a new null and we call it controller another one and call it bone so we'll just group them under these things either by coming here and create join or character and join we click join so the first joint is created and we will place it we come to the front view and make our switch on our wireframe and we just place it as our thigh joint so it's somewhat here so that we can have a nice band here okay and we just go to the left view port and move it here somewhat in the middle okay and then just control click and drag and this is our knee joint come to the left view port and just move it backward a bit not too much this thigh joint should little bit be behind behind then this in this y axis and then we just select uh, that this uh, uh, knee joint and move it again and this one we just put it here somewhat here which is our ankle joint okay and then you just click and drag and this is our ball and then click and drag and this is our toe come back to the front view port and fix them accordingly yeah make sure they are all in one line so what we'll do now is first name them this is b and which means bones underscore left underscore thigh copy control C control V and this one we call it knee this one we call it ankle then ball and then toe and and the last one because our last joint will not be skin to the body mesh so we call it be bone and okay now this goes into this this goes under this ankle goes under knee knee goes under thigh so this is our hierarchy and now what we'll do is we just select all of them go to the object and uh, joint uh, size custom and just make it one and also the length custom and make it one yeah this is fine so now we come to the front view and select our now see you can see it's not properly aligned so just rotate it a little bit and rotate it like this look it's almost in the center and we come to the left viewport and we make sure that actually this knee joint 
is little bit forward in direction so that we have a nice bend here so we just come here and select our this button and click it little bit forward and also select our ankle joint and move it little bit behind that's it in fact our ball should be almost here just come to the perspective viewport and see everything is centered yes perfectly fine okay so this is our setup for the leg now we need to start rig it before rigging we just select this one and move it into the bone section bones okay now we need to create a basic main controller okay so basic main control will make it simple we just come here and might be create a circle in fact instead of taking circle we can take directly a square okay and make it x z zoom down and just create a quick quick controller right click create points might be one or two more points just to define a shape a little bit create point okay so this is our foot controller we are just trying to give a shape of a foot so it's easy to grab and easy to understand also and select all of them and call them soft interpolation yeah it looks nice now okay i think fair enough and we call this one clt which means control underscore left underscore foot and we put it under the controllers for now and also similarly we put it under this controller layer okay good now next thing so what we'll do is now we just hide our mesh for now which is this tipu and we just focus on our leg controller so what we do is we just come here and create create an empty nulls in which we put on their proper positions for example this we just switch on snapping and see snapping is not working because we need to come here and use access snap so now it snaps and we just call it we put it under the control left foot controller we just call it ball underscore left and in the beginning we just put left so it's a different can can create a difference between left and right and then we just double click duplicate and call it left underscore to underscore wiggle okay and then we need another one it is called left underscore to left that's nice okay now what we need to do is we need to create an IK handle so for example we just select our bone thigh bone and right click cinema we go to character tags IK okay and then here we create an end joint end joint will be ankle this joint yes just come select our IK tag ankle put here and add goal this goal is created this one so if you may lift this one switch off this snubbing you can see now our left leg is being lifted so what we'll do is so we want actually this controller to lift when we move this one our leg is lifted and before this one I need to make it zero zero so just freeze all so that uh, accidentally if we move this one we just press zero 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 it comes to it comes to its its original position okay 
so now what we'll do is we just come here and put our IK handle under this one so now if I will lift my this it is lifting but even before doing that I need to put my uh, axis on this joint of ankle so I will come here switch on my enable axis and switch on my snapping and I will move my axis to the joint perfect and I have to freeze it all again so now when I'm lifting my foot it's all it's lifting from the ankle now I just come here and put it below this one so same thing I'm moving my my leg and it is lifting the leg now we need to fix other things so now we just take this IK handle and it put it under ball lift okay so now what we'll do is we just come here and add a constraint okay and this constraint we enable PSR and for the target we just add this IK goal okay now if we lift our ball see it's lifting from there second thing is we do is we just come here enable character tag another constraint same constraint PSR and here we put the wiggle okay so now if you see if I will lift my ball now it's lifting the ball and if I lift my toe it wiggle the toe now what I will do is I will just select all these both and put them under toe lift so when I no I make a mistake here toe lift should be on this toe end so I just come here select my toe lift uh, null and snap it to this point now I will come here and take this two and put it on the toe lift so now I will lift my toe, it lift with it. Okay. And the next thing is uh, control foot. So now if I select my control, I can do easily this one. I can do toe lift. I can do ball lift. And I can do toe wiggle. So this is my rig is ready. And I can additionally add if I switch on my mesh for now banking also I need to add banking so to add the banking I need to create another null and that null will be snapped almost to the edge of this shoe So I just select my move tool and snap it to my shoe here okay for example this one and then I will come this one here put this one here and put my all this here and I will call it left underscore shoe bank underscore left side so now if I will press this it's banking on this side I need to hide my mesh again so it's banking on this side similarly if I want to bank on other side I will come here character I switch on my mesh back again and uh, I create another null okay this is the null and I will snap it to for example this side uh, switch on my wireframe for example this corner okay and then I will switch off my snapping and put it here put this here and I call it left underscore shoe underscore bank underscore right side so if I come here and click this one it's banking on the right side perfect hike the mesh again 
so it's banking towards banking to the right side and banking to the left side 